What up everyone, it's your boy Satemangala, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast and the movement that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day and every part of your life. Today's topic, working through the drifts. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The Reverend's going through a difficult time right now. And by difficult, uh, in a couple days, I'm gonna turn 40 years old. Yep, 40 years old. Now, I've been saying that I'm 40 for the last year because I'm in my 40th year and it's easier to say 40 and 39. And I'm going through some confusion and chaos. Now, a lot of people, a lot of the gurus out there, they would never say this. But you know with me, what you see is what you get, what you hear is what you get. So at the time I'm shooting this podcast, there are some confusion and some chaos going on in my life. Why? Because I want to live the purpose I'm called to live, and I know that a big part of that is going to be making decisions and choices. When I don't feel guidance from the voice, then I've got to make a choice and I've got to move. And multiple times in my life, I have felt what I call these drifts. It's a drift. Right? You're not really on path, and maybe you're on path, but your mind is either wandering There's a lack of clarity, which causes confusion, and then which causes chaos. Have you ever felt this way before? Have you ever gone through times in your life where you felt lost or stuck, uncertain, confused? This is what I've been experiencing recently with my business and multiple businesses with the different things that I'm doing on a daily basis to create value in the marketplace. So I share this with you in total truth and honesty and transparency because like, this is what I go through on a daily basis. Real, radical truth and honesty and transparency. And with my listeners, I get to share with you what I'm feeling and what I'm experiencing as I go through this, well, I call it a drift. Some people call it being in a funk. Some people call it going through adversity and opposition. But well, to, for today's intents and purposes... We're going to call it being in a drift. Now, what does being in a drift mean and what does that look like? It's really simple. Being in a drift simply means there are some lessons to learn. There is a little bit of chaos and confusion and a lack of clarity. This causes most people to drift into a downward spiral and to get off track from their eating, their working out, their studying, their normal habits that bring them results And I'm not a normal person. So how do I deal with this? Well, number one, like really simple. I'm going to give you some tips today of what I do when I deal with these drifts. Number one, breathe. It's a very simple thing. Yet most people, they just work harder and they try harder and they try to get more things done. And it doesn't really work. Breathing is important. It puts oxygen into your body. It allows you to calm down. If someone's like, <sighs> I'm breathing really crazy, well, you know that like, they're not clear. They're stress. So take deep breaths. Just take some time to breathe in your meditation, whether you, whether you do meditation breath or breath meditation, breathing meditation. Just take time. Number two, ask yourself, who am I and what is the purpose of my life? Who am I? I am a powerful creator. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a son of God. I'm a human being. I'm a creator. I'm a man who fulfills and does what he says he's going to do. What is the purpose of my life? Eternal expansion and value creation. Every time I start to drift, I come back to breathing deeply. I get grounded and I ask, who am I? See, if I don't know who I am, it's easy to get stuck in the chaos circle or the circle of confusion. What is the purpose of my life? This grounds me back to why I am living and what I'm doing today and what I'm doing for the rest of my life. Eternal expansion and value creation. Number three, I ask myself the question, what do I want? And this is confusing at times because right now I'm not even sure what I want. On a general sense, in a general sense, I know what I want. I want to make a difference for people. 
I want to live a life of fulfillment and meaning and contribution. I want to be guided by the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. I also call it the voice. Or letting God guide me because I know with His help I can do so much more than I'm capable of doing by myself. At the same time, I refuse to hide behind God and to hide behind that crutch. Well, God's not telling me. I guess I'll just wait till He tells me. No, that's not how it works. So what do I want to create? This leads me to step number four. Who can I bring into my life today to help me to see what I can't see? And this is why coaching is so critical. My chief marketing officer, very smart man, very guided, very competent, full of integrity. And I said, can you chat? So we got on the phone. We started to talk about our business and what we're doing with the Prosperity Revolution with Shield Maiden and with one-on-one clients. And he gave me some feedback. And it was great to hear his feedback. It helped me to see something I couldn't see. So I, I was breathing. I've been taking a lot of deep breaths and meditating, just listening. Principle number six, asking shall receive. Listen and you receive more. I'm praying and asking. I better listen. Breathing. Number two, what is the purpose of my life? Who am I? And who am I and what is the purpose of my life? Number three, what do I really want to create? What do I want right now? Number four, who can I bring into my life to help me to see what I can't see? Again, the power of coaching. And number five, to listen. Wouldn't it be nice if drifts were kind of like a headache? We could just take a, a Tylenol and solve the problem. It doesn't work that way. Now, I know for many of you right now, you go through your own drifts. You go through your own challenges. You go through your own struggles. Five things I did to, that I'm telling you today is what I've been doing over the last couple of days. And I'm, I'm, I am okay with having drifts come upon me because drifts are not bad. They're not. One of the biggest problems we face is when we think a drift is bad, we start to beat ourselves up about it. Oh, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be feeling this way. Something's wrong with me. As if going into opposition or challenge or strife is bad. It's not bad. It's part of life. It's part of growth. It's a way to recalibrate and to get more clarity so you can get back on track and get moving towards where you truly want to go and where you need to be for your life. Breathe. Oxygenate your blood, which oxygenates your body. Slow your breathing down. Who am I? What is the purpose of my life? What do I truly want to create? Who can I bring into my life right now that can help me with insights and distinctions to give me clarity? Be still and listen. These are simple steps. And I have no doubt, like, that the time that I'm shooting this podcast, I would suspect that I'm going to have more drift and more this uncertainty as I continue to build this business to do what I do and that's okay there's nothing wrong with having some uncertainty and lack of clarity in your life it's when you start to guilt yourself for feeling this way that you get into trouble there's nothing wrong with this I've even slowed down in some of the things that I'm doing because I lack clarity and vision what I wanted three months ago has shifted what I wanted two months ago has shifted. And I've got to be sure that what I wanted three, two, one month ago, that's still the case. If not, I will make a mighty course correction in what I'm doing. Or I will stay on path and be steadfast and put my shoulder to the wheel. So what's the lesson here for you? When you drift, don't beat yourself up about it. When you don't feel like doing the things you said you would do, don't beat yourself up about it. Just step back and do these five simple things. Number one, just breathe. I'll, step number one, breathe. Step number five, listen. Be still. Slow down. Listen. Unplug. Meditate. Number two, who am I? Who are you? What's the purpose of your life? Number three, 
What do you want to create moving forward? And number four, who could you bring into your life to give you some perspective? Yes, these are drifts, and drifts are gifts if we find the divine lessons in them. Many people drift. Powerful ones, they just drift, they find the gift and the lesson, and then they lift into new creation and go to a new horizon. Everyone else, well, they stay stuck in the circle of insanity, the circle of chaos, and the circle of confusion. Because they never make the choice to stop, listen, ask, answer, observe, and notice. Brothers and sisters, I'm sure in one of the future podcasts you're going to hear me talk about what came about from the drift in this podcast episode. Do I have all the answers? Not yet. And that's okay, because I simply listen to the voice within, and if the voice doesn't speak, I make a choice and I move. So my question for you is, what are you going to do about it? If you are currently in a drift, can you be still and know that he is God? Can you be still and know? Can you listen and trust? This is your boy, Satamangala, reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promise, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The prosperity revolution has begun. Will you join us? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.